Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And in this video, we're going to be talking about mainly our Invest 94L that is of concern, that is an imminent threat to land. And we're also going to talk about Invest 93E, as well as our two systems over in the Eastern Pacific, which are Tropical Storm Kevin and Invest 93E. And so before I go into details... <laughs> Okay, so let us kickstart things with the Eastern Pacific. So as you're seeing on the five-day outlook from the National Hurricane Center, we do have what is now Tropical Storm Kevin as well as that other disturbance, Invest 93E. And as of right now, Kevin is a weakening system, so it is being sheared slightly. So weakening is the result of that wind shear starting to become more unfavorable in its region. So as of right now, the sustained winds are 50 miles per hour and they were at 60, which means that there is a 10 mile per hour decrease in the wind speeds and it was expected to become a hurricane but it is no longer anticipated to do so but to remain a tropical storm throughout most of this week but as we're going into this weekend we're expecting it to be downgraded to a depression and then eventually a post-tropical cyclone on saturday and it is not going to be a threat to land and so in terms of our Invest 93E, we're seeing here that it is currently located well offshore of Mexico and it is given a high 90% chance to develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days. And so it is likely that the system becomes maybe a depression or a tropical storm maybe by the next day or two. And it is going to be moving somewhat parallel to the western coast of Mexico. So not going to be much of a threat to land either. And so now let's go on over into the Atlantic. So we have our two Invest invests invest 94l as well as invest 93l and so first let's talk about invest 93l and so we're seeing here that it is given a low 20 percent chance to develop so the chance is on the decline for the system to potentially become a tropical cyclone and the reason for that is because it is now entering an unfavorable environment and so development of the system is not likely at this point as it moves westward but if it is still in one piece and has some convection going on with it by the time it arrives at the Lesser Antilles, then it could bring some inclement weather conditions to those islands. But as of right now, tropical cyclone is not expected from this. And so don't breathe a sigh of relief if you're there because there is an imminent threat, which is Invest 94L. So it is possible that 94L could become a depression maybe by tonight or so and watches and warnings will likely be sent out by this evening or so and so as of right now it is given a 70 percent chance to develop into a tropical cyclone through both 48 hours and five days and so where are areas that need to pay attention to this so it is likely that a uh, tropical storm like conditions that are like heavy rain falls strong winds and even some storm surge are possible in sections of the lesser antilles i would say if you're in any of the islands you have to keep an eye on this because it might affect your area as well as the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico and so heavy rainfall that could trigger flooding is likely in mainly the Leeward Islands so even though most of the Lesser Antilles will be affected it is really the Leeward Islands that are going to be feeling the worst of the impacts so I implore you all to please take necessary precautions and stay safe ensure that you're not in a flood prone area uh, ensure that there are no large trees that could cause damage in the event of strong winds around your property and also ensure that you have all your important files and documents in something that is safe and waterproof because you don't want to risk losing anything and so in terms of it on satellite view we're seeing here that it is getting somewhat in shape so it is approaching the eastern Caribbean at this time it is not very organized right now but it is in a conducive environment to aid in its intensification so we will definitely have to see what is the eventual outcome with it as time goes by but as of right now if you're in the eastern Caribbean you will likely be affected by 94 Ellen so if this becomes a name storm it will acquire the name Fred which is the next name to be used for this hurricane season and so now let's go on and look at how favorable conditions are and so looking at the wind shear map the green mean favorable shear, the yellows mean neutral, and the reds mean unfavorable shear. So whenever you see a lot of those reds extending across any region, that is not a very good environment or very accommodative environment for tropical cyclones because that is what rips up the thunderstorms and prevent them from intensifying much. But as of right now, 94L is in a region of favorable shear, and so it is likely that it is going to become a depression, I would say maybe even a weak tropical storm, before it makes its way across 
uh, the Northern Caribbean. And so in terms of that as well, in terms of the potential track of it, so we're seeing here that we have quite a bit of available models. And so most are expecting that it's going to be crossing over into the Northeastern Caribbean and then making its way over Hispaniola, Cuba, and potentially into the Gulf of Mexico. So this is something very, very interesting to see here. And so because of this expected land interaction, we're not expecting that it's going to be strengthening much because of course it's not going to be over the warm ocean waters and then the high terrain of Cuba and Hispaniola will help the system to weaken a bit so the fortunate news is that it's not going to be strengthened much but the bad news is that it is going to be bringing dangerous conditions even if it is just a depression heavy rainfall can still trigger flooding in some of those areas guys and I implore you as I said earlier to please take necessary precautions and stay safe and so in terms of the potential intensity we do have uh, quite a bit of models available here as well and so most are expecting that it's going to be achieving tropical storm status but most are keeping it at a weak tropical storm mainly for the reason of land interaction which is an inhibiting factor when it comes on to the intensification of a tropical cyclone and so in terms of the ocean temperatures ocean temperatures are very warm at this time in the caribbean to support strengthening and also in the gulf of mexico so if we have the system making its way into the gulf of mexico and the shear is conducive things are going to be quite interesting to say the least because the gulf is where we have a lot of rapid intensification taking place with systems over the years we've seen it a lot of times and so that could potentially be the outcome with our current 94l which might become a tropical storm and we have to wait and see what is going to be the outcome now let's move on to the saharan dust and we see here that we don't have a whole lot of dust being present uh moving more to the caribbean region so when you're seen more of those light uh, yellow shades that is when we don't have a lot of dust but as we head to the dark orange the red and that pink shade that is a lot of dust so we don't have the Saharan dust being a much of a problem for our Invest 94L we do have that small pocket in the vicinity of the Leeward Islands but nothing very significant impacted and the Gulf is looking very clear at this time, mainly clear in terms of the Saharan dust. So once we have all the favorable conditions in the Gulf of Mexico, when the system might move into it, then we have a problem here. We definitely have to watch the system. And so guys, this is not guaranteed to take place. So that is why we just have to keep watching the system because anything can happen with it. And so I will keep you updated as time goes by. And so if you found this video to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And just remember to always be with the wise.